we're doing? Are you in that job? Are you a nut job? Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, the 18th of December, 2022. Uh, got a little snowflakes going here today. It's about 25 degrees. It's definitely chilly. Uh, it's one of those days. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So uh, everything. I'll show you. It's, it's in a way, it's kind of good, right? Everything's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that there. Uh, actually, what I need to do here, with it being drier, uh, it uh, definitely, uh, or it's more solid, I can get down to the wood line. I can buck up some wood and get it into the woodshed. But uh, So today is going to be a chill day here at the homestead because of this del delightful weather. Uh, we're going to be warmer the next three, four days. And then like Thursday, it's going to be a high of like 45. And then by the end of Thursday, it's going to be like 9. So then we do have, after that, it's like three days of really cold weather. And then it's going to warm back up, you know, more to more seasonable temperatures, I guess. But uh, so, yeah, it's just uh, just what we're dealing with. It's obviously overcast, so we're not really getting any solar. So you can hear the generator on. I have that on right now, charging the batteries. But... Uh, you know, just getting through it, doing what we got to do. Oh, I was going to mention too, so I, I had to go, and because I already knew, I already knew, but I had to go look today. So I went back to where the dig is. Uh, the wheelbarrow had water in it. That water's frozen, right? Because it's 25, it feels like 12. And I looked in the hole, and there is water in the hole, okay, because we did have the rains that came in. So that's got to be uh, dealt with and taken care of. But lo and behold, I couldn't believe it. It was a miracle. It's not frozen down there. Well, how's that happening? <laughs> oh, I love I love proving stupid people wrong. I really, truly do. So, yeah, it's just water down there because it's below the frost line and it's cold enough above, um, you know, so it's going to be 58 degrees once you're under the frost room or under the frost line at all times. And so if the frost line is three feet and you are at nine feet, uh, that means that that temperature down at that nine foot level is going to be 58 degrees. And the last time I checked, I know it's kind of a weird concept, but the last time I checked, water does not freeze at 58 degrees. Strange, very, very strange. So we'll go in here real quick. I'll show you. Uh, what we're dealing with. I don't even know where this is at. I haven't even looked recently. I know it's dark in here now. You can't probably see anything. Let's see if that shows. It's saying 91%. I think you guys can see that. So I'm not going to run that for much longer because it's in pretty good shape. I'll turn that back on later. But uh, yeah, so that's where we're. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. I know what's happening. I was trying to figure something out. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you what was going on here, all right? I've had the generator running probably three hours, right? And I had switched out the propane tank um, just the other day, and the, and the, and the um, system keeps shutting off. And I'm like, what is going on? Why does this keep shutting off? I go, that tank, that tank can't be empty already. I mean, usually it's about a week or so. And I'm trying to figure out why is this not, why does this system keep kicking off? Because right now the system's on the battery and not on, uh, or, you know, the, the battery for the camper and not on the uh, regular battery. So that's why it keeps kicking off because there's not enough juice in a regular battery, which makes sense. It just kind of dawned on me. Sorry. <laughs> So I was pretty good amount of ice thickness in the buckets right now, so that's always fun. But yeah, so that's that makes sense. Now I kind of figured it out. It's weird how something will dawn on you when you least expect it. <laughs> but I was trying to figure out. I'm like, there's no way I'm out of propane yet. Why does that keep kicking off? There's not enough, not enough uh, stored juice in the battery. I got to get the system plugged back into the main batteries. So. When I have, when I'm charging the um, the batteries in the, I'll show you too. 
when I'm charging the batteries in the generator room, what I have to do, and I do it under here, if you guys will be able to see that, I disconnect, okay? Because what happens is, you can see the light is green on the generator right there. If I have the camper plugged in, when the refrigerator kicks on or something like that, what will end up happening is uh, it will do a surge on the generator and then it won't charge. It will turn to red and then I have to come out and reset it and all that type of stuff. So it's just easier to disconnect the camper. And then the camper is usually good uh, for a few hours. You know, I could you know do whatever I need to do, but I just, the plugs don't work. The heat still works, uh, the lights will still work, but after a few hours, it'll be too much of a, a drain on that system for the camper. So, it's good to figure that out. I was trying to figure out what was going on, because I knew I wasn't out of propane after two days. Because <laughs> what I do is I only turn um, one of the, here, I'm actually, I'll walk around the front and I'll show you this. I turn one of the tanks on at a time. And so, I don't have, um, both of the tanks going at the same time when I'm running the solar system. So, yeah, I'm curious. When I'm, I'm going to eventually hook these two up, you know, probably when we get into, like, so, okay. Even though this is saying it's like in the red right now, it's actually still not, it's still okay. This tank is full and this tank is off. I have this tank on right now, all right? So that tank over here is empty, that one over there is full. So what I've been doing for right now, once I empty out the next tank, I'll take the two, fill them up, and then go off of that. And I just rotate back and forth um, with the tanks. We get into January and we get into really cold weather. I'm probably gonna take the those, and actually I'll show you again. All right, there is, Probably should have just left that off for a minute. There's a lot of play with that. There's a lot of, um, I can, or actually with this one here, I can take that, and that is over here. I can take them off of here, pull these over, and hook them up to these two, and it's not going to be an issue. So then I will we'll go and I'll run those two as long as I can. And then when they run out, then I would just put up the smaller tanks on, take those two, put them on the truck, and go get them refilled. So that's kind of the game plan once we get into January. We'll see how long. I'll, I'll just have one on at a time. You know, I'll have them both hooked up, but just have the one on and try to figure out how long uh, that 100-pound tank is going to last me. Uh, should last me a decent amount, I'm thinking. So we'll see, but uh, you know, as we move forward, we'll figure that all out. So anyway, I will be live streaming tonight um, at 8 p.m. So I would encourage you all to join me then, and we'll have a good discussion. I want to talk about uh, what's coming up for 2023. What do we see happening? What do we think is going to happen, happening moving forward, and, and those type of things. We're going to discuss all those type of things. So we'll get into that then. Uh, anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now because I am freezing. It's cold out here, and I don't want to be out here any longer than I have to be. So um, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right. I will see you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.